This, ladies and gentlemen, is Daniel. Who said that? Oh. What are you looking at, Daniel? What is this? Big Brother or something? Oh, 20 bucks. Nice. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Someone could have been looking for that, Dan. That might have been the very last bit of their pension. Look, whoever you are, shove off. <laughs> Where are you going, Dan? Where does it look like I'm going? Why are you here? Because I want to be. Don't go in there, Daniel. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll just have the usual thanks, candy buff. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? have a name. Rude. <laughs> there you go. Now don't be asking me for nothing. Dan is unsuccessfully trying to catch the eye of this pretty girl. He would like to chat her up, but it's just not working. Hey, did you just hear that? I know why it's not working, Dan. It's the fruity wine cooler you're drinking. <laughs> Look, whoever you are, push off. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Dan is about to use his very best pickup line. <laughs> Darn right I am. Here he goes. <clears throat> hey, how you going? Say, do you have a map? Because I'm so lost in your eyes right now. Strike one! Hey, shut up! I'm sick of you! No, 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 not you! It's... Oh. Look, I don't know who you are or where you're hiding, but I've had enough of you, mate. Stop talking to me! <laughs> Dan screams to the heavens. Go away! Sir, you need to go. You're causing a racket and I'm losing all my customers because of you. Now be quiet or leave. It's not me, it's him. Sir, you need to leave. And don't even think about coming back or I have to call security. Another terrific night for Dan. Look, just go away. That's it, security, security. This hey. man needs to leave. I'm going, I'm going. <sighs> What are you doing here? You've been missing me. Doing a little bit of stalking, huh? I don't think she has, and I don't think she is. Um, no, Dan. No on both counts, actually. I don't want to boast, but <clears throat> told you so. I'm not listening to you! What are you looking at? <laughs> I have to go, Lauren. Um, I'll see you at church tonight. Okay, see ya. So, am I right, or am I right? Well, actually, Dan, I did want to see you. I told you so. Um, I wanted to tell you that something changed in my life. Yep, when I left you, there was a hole in your heart that couldn't be filled. I know, you want me back. I don't blame you. I don't think that's where she's going. No, I'm right. Just wait and see, big shot. Um, Dan, I was once crazy too. Yep, I know. No. Crazy in love with me. No, just crazy. Lauren, it might look like I'm crazy, but I'm not. Dan, you're hearing voices. So? And you talk back to them. Okay, point taken. Lauren, I am crazy. Go ahead, Lauren. Dan, I, I was going crazy with guilt. Every time I did something wrong, it, it's like this voice exploded in my mind. Every time I made the choice to do the wrong thing, it's like something went off in my soul. There's a lot of that about these days. Dad, I'm serious. It was like a monster. It just got louder and louder and it intruded more and more. Yup, I think I know it's cousin. Dad, grow up. Look, sorry Lauren, it's been a rough day. 
You know, this voice just kept going, and then my friend told me what it was. She said it was my conscience, and she said that God gives us a conscience to protect us. Protect us from what, Lauren? From sin, Dan. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But not just grave death, but dead relationships, poison money, and a broken mind. Hey, you have been following me, haven't you? No, Dan. We all sin. We all do the wrong thing. We all end up broken. That's sin. And then sin stirs up our conscience and makes us feel uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable? That is an understatement. Dan, God gives us all a conscience to help us. We all need to be set free from sin. And that's where Jesus comes in, because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life if you will trust Him. When I trusted Jesus, He gave me my sanity back. He can do the same thing for you. Do you want to pray? Seriously, Lauren? I don't think I need that right now. Oh, uh, yes you do, Dan. I said, I don't think I need that right now. Dan, just pray. Don't you make me come over there. Okay. Okay. I'll pray. Hail Mary. Oh, Mother Dan, of that's religion. That's never got you anywhere before. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dan, Hare. I have no idea what that is, but that's definitely not going to help you either. Right, right. You ask for it. No, okay, okay. Look. The last one was a joke. Lauren, my conscience has been giving me a hiding. Just lately. Just lately? I've been on to you for the last seven years. Okay, look. Just lately, Lauren, it's gotten worse. It's, it's out of control. And it's all my fault. Dan, it's your sin that irritates your conscience. And Jesus is the only way you can be set free. You tell him. Okay, look. I'll pray. Alright, just repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus... Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And I believe. And I believe. You died on the cross. You died on the cross. For my sin. For my sin. Please come into my heart. Please come into my heart. And forgive me. Forgive me. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, I don't hear the voices anymore. Praise God, you've been set free. 